to trace our ancestries, scientists have to pour through the 0.1% that's different through tiny random changes to the A's, C's, G's, and T's that accumulate in our genetic codes over time. Scientists call them markers. A marker is a glimpse of a person who lived at some point in the distant past. If you share a marker with someone, you share an ancestor, the, the person who first had that change in their DNA. And um, they don't change the way you look or give you a disease or make you better than anyone else. They're just baggage that gets passed on through the generations. 200,000 years ago, the DNA in Scientific Eve's mitochondria picked up some of these random changes. An A became a G. Some T's became C's. She unknowingly passed those changes along to her daughters, and her daughters onto her daughters, down the line over thousands of daughters, to Carrie and every other person on the planet. My great-grandparents were um, Ivan and Anna Mukovic. When they came to the States, they changed their name to Mukovitz, because they thought it was easier Americanized. Just like a family tree, markers allow us to connect people through history. Since they crop up at a fairly steady rate, markers also serve as a kind of clock to estimate when people lived. And by looking at how markers cluster, they can even act as roadmaps to show us where our ancestors came from and where they moved. Scientists call these different lines of descent haplogroups, and there are hundreds of them. Taken together, they give us a timeline of human migration. 